Ryan, you're sitting there with the David Joyce Cup that was won against AFC Rushton and Diamonds. Obviously, a 2-1 win. Um, yeah. Your assessment of the performance? Um, the performance at times wasn't great. I think that there certainly wasn't a, a, a lack of effort or want to go and win the game and want to go and play well, um, which sometimes you may be, uh, may be guilty of if you're playing against lesser, in theory, lesser opposition. It wasn't that. I just think... It, I think our decision making on in possession of the ball and what was a poor pitch at times to to get it out of the the central areas and switch the play quite quickly. I think we probably forced that at times, um, and just in and around the final third up until um, probably 10, 15 minutes before the goal. I think we were, we were probably just a little bit rash and, and snatching at a few things and and not um, not as composed as, as we should be or or, or, or can be. Um, but overall, overall against obviously a side that were were really really up for the game, really desperate to beat us, and, and gave absolutely everything, um, gave absolutely everything, and made for a good cup final. It was great to win. Yeah, I think when when conditions are difficult like they were last night, and obviously you want to play passive football, you want to get the ball down, but sometimes it's it's hard to do that on that surface, and you have exactly to mix right. and match a little bit, and that's what they did. That's the thing. That's sort of the the next step for their development. A lot of the boys, it's understanding the right times to play and we always want to play football it's a it's a philosophy right the way through the club we want to play out from the back play through the thirds etc but sometimes that's not the way to to win a game sometimes you have to um use the areas of the pitch that are good and and also respect the opposition that if they're going to sit in at times and, and make it hard for you to break down you have to you have to pass quickly sometimes you might have to be a bit more direct you have to stretch the stretch the opposition once you stretch them that's when the the holes in the the central areas will 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 open up and i think as the game wore on that started to happen uh, and our key players key players on the night made the most of that. Yeah, and if ever a goal came against them on a play, it was a goal they yeah. scored, didn't it, on yeah. the track of that time? It was, a, it was a mistake, again, talking about overplaying. Um, Keanu and Brad, uh, both very technically good players, wanted to play out, uh, not the right time to do it. It's time to be defenders and get rid of the ball. Um, and that contributed to them obviously nicking it and going and scoring. Um we obviously had words at half time in terms of things that we wanted to, to do better, things that we we were doing getting success from and trying to obviously exploit those more and and after the first initial probably fifteen, twenty minutes of the second half we, we, we did those and, and were comfortable. Yeah, when we equalised obviously through Keanu who scored from about seven or eight yards and yeah. sort of cross half cleared. Yeah. From there on in they yeah. kicked on, didn't they? Well I think the the changes helped just in the sense of um, giving us a little bit more energy to stretch the pitch, as I say, um, and allowed Leo to get on the ball a lot more, who was, who was obviously fantastic on the night. Um, and yeah, as I say, we were, we were very comfortable. It was about getting that first goal. It, it, obviously, goals change games, it's a cliche, but it's true. If we'd have scored earlier, then I think we would have been a lot more comfortable earlier on in the game. Um, but once that f first goal went in, we, we, were, um, we, were, we were very good. and in the end probably well not probably should have won by more yeah we spoke before the game about your record in penalties and how good it was and yeah. then you hadn't conceded when he yeah. got to 1-1 you kind of thought is it going to go that yeah. way and then Leo steps up and does what he does yeah he was fantastic he he, he showed great balance uh, to run with the ball technical ability bravery because he wants the ball at all times and he I'll be honest probably could have been protected better at times last night um, from the referee uh, that's the game he understands that he can look after himself um, and and every time he got the ball in the second half he was a massive threat either to put somebody else in or to run and, and get shots off himself which which obviously he did he'd had one previous that weren't far away and then and then scored the one he did fantastically yeah we spoke before this interview and sort of said that it's hard to forget that he's or it's easy to forget that yeah. he's, he's only 16 years yeah. old he's playing two years below yeah. what that game was and yeah and he was outstanding. Well, this is the thing. He's obviously now come to a little bit more of the forefront of, of um, our general supporters' minds. Now he's obviously played the uh, final two games of the season with the first team. Um, everyone can see what he can do. Uh, we all know what he can do. But it's just about, for, for us now and for him, just to understand that, that he is still only 16. And we have high hopes for him. We know he's going to be a very, very good player for us. Um, and to just keep giving him the platform to do that in terms of working hard and, and making sure that, that he 
uh, listens and, and improves on all aspects of his game, which I'm sure he will. He's a great lad. He wants to learn, and 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 he knows that he knows that he's got a long way to go. But when he's playing how he is last night, he's an absolute pleasure to watch, and and he's worth the entrance fee alone um, when he's when he's playing like that. So yeah, no, um, really delighted for him. And when you get into the first team like he has, he's played the last two games, yeah. and then you sort of told him you're going to be playing in a in a cup yeah. final for the end of eighteen. Yeah. That's two. That's to be spot as well. Exactly right. Exactly right. And it's easy to 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 get carried away. Um, and to be fair to him, he's he's not that type of lad. But also to be fair to the group, they're not going to treat him any differently. They're not going to. Um, uh, let him get away with things that that uh, if there are any any signs of that, but I, I have no worries about that anyway. But he um, he's well liked within the group, and and as I say, he's he's a very very important part of the the, the squad as a as a whole. And Liam Marshall was there last night. Harry yeah. Anderson, Johnny yeah. Edwards, just shows how together the group is and how exactly. they how they've contributed to the yeah success. massively. And so so those three players. Then you've got a number of under sixteens that that were involved last night. Some didn't get on, and there's others that in the earlier rounds didn't play. Um, and the under eighteens as a whole, as I say, you've mentioned those three. Um, Dion Henry didn't come on last night. He was on the bench in the previous rounds as well. Who's obviously had a fantastic season, um, and a professional contract. So. Uh, it's a massive collective, and and it in times whereas last night went one nil down in the previous round, went one nil down in the previous round before that went one nil down. Um, so to show the character to to come back and to to go and win the game in whether it's penalties, whether it's not, um, is a is a testament to them. And and yeah, it's uh, it's great for them to get into the habit of winning things and 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 understanding what it takes to win things and cup finals and whether it's against lesser opposition or or um, academy teams it's, it's a vital ingredient that obviously um, you need going into the first team to, to uh, take to it and to obviously um, settle in and, and play men's football so it's um, no, it's been a it's been a real good competition for the group and it's been a real good season for the group as well so it ended very very well